Welcome back to the Deli Diaries. It's Crystal here, and today we are going to be playing with Multichrome Pigments by Nakia Joy Cosmetics. So this is an Australian company, which is very exciting for me to be able to review. Uh, we're basically going to have a look at how they all swatch out, and then we're going to do a look. I have no idea what that's going to be yet because I don't know which color I'm going to want to use. We're going to find out. Uh, if it's your first time at this channel, thanks so much for jumping on board. We love makeup here and believe that makeup should be fun and just a way to express yourself and enhance whatever mood and vibe you're going for. So feel free to subscribe if you would like to. Let's jump on into the swatching. Okay, so I did a big shop at Nakia Joy when they were having a sale and I picked up two pigments which are the lighter based ones these are really pretty and iridescent and then i also picked up a whole bunch of the black based chroma shifts so these guys here oh and two metallic pigments as well i picked up a gold and a bluey color so we will get to those as well actually let's start with the metallics shall we Okay, I'm glad we agree. So first up we have Stardust, which is a really pretty yellowy gold with glitter in it. So just dry. Oh, wow. So that is Stardust. That's beautiful. You get a lot of product in here as well, and the price is excellent. Just keeping my filthy makeup wiping rag next to me. I will wash it one day. <laughs> potentially <laughs> okay next we've got serpent which is another of the metallic so these ones retail for $19 which is an excellent price in my opinion okay so this is serpent oh yeah I was really excited about picking up this one it looked so beautiful on the interweb oh wow this is so pretty so it's a blue but it has sort of a yellowy shift to it as well Excuse my feral nails too. I'm getting them done tomorrow. <laughs> I have to get, what is it, SNS? SLS, S something S <laughs> on my nails because I'm a chronic nail picker. So if I don't have that on, I'm just stuffed. That serpent color is beautiful. Uh, let's see how she describes it. So this is described as rich teal with a gold shift. It's very pretty. Now it doesn't look super rich how I've swatched it out at the moment, but I think what I might do, because I'm curious is, I'm just going to wet the product, just a little bit of water, and see how intense it goes. So just dipping my finger in some water and then dipping that in the product. Oh, yeah, okay, that's beautiful. Okay, so definitely that one looks amazing if you wet it. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, see, look at the difference. That's beautiful there. I like that one. Now we're moving into the newer ones in the... Nakia Joy Cosmetics collection. These are color frost pigments. So they're the kind of white iridescent ones with color shifts. So first up we've got Gumdrop. Very pretty. So Gumdrop supposedly shifts between pearlescent white to gold, to teal and coral as well. So it's definitely multichromatic. And I'm just gonna pick it up with a dry finger and first of all see how that looks. Still got residue from the serpent shade on my hand. That's gumdrop. And I'm just gonna wet my finger again and apply it with a wet finger and see what happens. Okay, yep, intensity just goes up a level. That's so beautiful. Just adding that water. All right, next to that, I'm gonna lay down the other color for us pigment, which is Sugar Kiss. So Sugar Kiss shifts between pearlescent white to pink, gold, orange, magenta, and red. I'm going to pop that next to the other one so we can compare them. See if I could do the fancy swatching thing, you know. <laughs> okay. So that one is the Sugar Kiss without any water or mixing medium. And now I'm just going to wet my finger. <laughs> and that sugar kiss with a mixing medium that's so pretty oh I love the pinky tone to that so these are really ethereal and beautiful oh my gosh I am so impressed with these and you know what else I'm impressed with because I generally don't enjoy using loose pigments just because I can't be bothered with the mess even when I applied this dry I had zero for that it didn't go anywhere 
somehow, unlike all other pigments I've ever used, doesn't seem to be messy, which is miraculous. Now, I do know also that these look completely different if you put them over black. So we're going to just experiment with that now, I think. I'm just going to grab my Danessa Myricks Color Fix Foil in Cosmic. This is a black with some sparkle to it, but it just happens to be in front of me. And I actually really think this is beautiful, but we'll see. So I'm just laying that down in between the two swatches I've done so I can pop the other one over the top. But how pretty is this product from Danessa Myricks? Just, just quietly. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? And it doesn't move either. Once it's dry, it just stays put. But anyways, let's see how those pigments look over the top of that. Just make sure it's dry. <laughs> Choking on oxygen. <laughs> Not a great sign. Okay, now let's lay those two over the top of that black pigment and see what we get. Isn't this fun? It's like just party time. Okay, okay, so I'm just taking the gumdrop shade and I'll put that over, let's say, the bottom half. Ooh. Okay, so that is the gumdrop over the top of black. Looking pretty darn spectacular. And then. We'll put Sugar Kiss on the other half. Ooh, pretty. Just really makes the, the pinky ready shade stand out there. Yes, isn't that so beautiful? That's the Sugar Drop shade over black and Gum Drop down the bottom over black. So there you go. I am a big fan of those little color frosts. Beautiful. And I love how not messy they are. Not messy. It's the opposite of not messy. Unmessy? I love how little mess they make. That is absolutely impressive. Mm, okay. So those are a big tick for me and I think I'm going to have to get more of them because they're just beautiful. I do think that this type of thing is so much easier to wear than black based multi-chromes. Black based multi-chromes can be really difficult to wear, especially if you don't have a lot of eyelid space like me. So sometimes when I wear dark multi-chromes, they just don't look as good as they would on someone with a lot of lid space. I still wear them because <laughs> they're fun. But yeah, those are really beautiful. So next we are going to dive on into the Chroma Shift pigments and in no particular order, we shall swatch them out. <laughs> to kick off our swatches, we're going to start with Mythic. Oh, wow. <laughs> look at this in the lid. So it's like purple to blue. Wowzers. <laughs> it's intense. Okay, <laughs> let's dip in. Again, not messy. And swatched. Oh wow, that swiped on so well. I think you can see like the blue down this end and then how it's purple up here. Look at the richness of that color. And I can actually see like purpley color to it down here and a little bit of a grungy golden green when I'm looking at it straight on. Well, that's unexpected. Even more colors than are supposed to be there. So that's mythic. See what happens if I wet it. Oh, that's so nice. Just gives it more smoothness, a bit more of a sheen, doesn't it? Nakia Joy, killing it. So these ones are $24 Australian. <laughs> Now we're going to take Aurora and give her a swatch. Aurora, that was the name of the baby in Sleeping Beauty, wasn't it? The princess? So this one is described as being a rich color shifting pigment that changes from gold to light and deep green. Just a dry finger. Ah, oh, that's gorgeous. I'm trying to get that the green for you. Let's wet the finger. Oh my gosh, I just love them when they're wet. I don't think I would really ever wear a dry pigment. Maybe in the inner corner. Look how rich that is. Oh, that's beautiful. Aurora, so gold to green shift. Ooh, yes, I really like that one. <laughs> Makes me sad to take these off my hand. <laughs> Such a waste. <laughs> okay. Moving on to Cosmic now, and this one's described as changing from purple to teal and deep green. You can see that in the lid. 
So it has these little, like three little holes in there, so you can tip it in, tip it into the lid. Theoretically, oh, it's going on a bit different to the others. Oh yeah, no, it's smoothed out now. Cosmic, it does look kind of like the universe, doesn't it? It's quite dark, it's really quite teal there. And then it goes to like a really dark purple. Now wetting my finger. Mm, that's when these shine. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh, look at that teal. You can sort of see the dark purple around the edge here. And up the top. Yeah. That one is going to be amazing if you want to do something really deep and dramatic and dark. And now taking Inferno. This one is shifting from magenta to gold, red and green without any mixing medium. Yeah, that's really cool. It's like a volcano, which makes sense. <laughs> Why it's named Inferno. Add some water. Okay, Papa. Little Billy's in here. He started snoring actually. He was snoring the other night. <laughs> like, I don't need that from you. Get that from men. <laughs> yes, add that mixing medium and she's a stunner. Love that. Love that one. Oh, that is so beautiful. If you could see it in person, just the, the richness of the gold, the red, the green. Mm -hmm. She is very pretty. Okay, we're up to the final three now. Let's take Celestial. Celestial. Is that new Ed Sheeran song? I have to play it a lot. <laughs> it's good, I like Ed Sheeran. He's actually talented, so that's nice. <laughs> Plays an instrument and everything, what do you know? It's so rare these days. Some of these look quite similar in the container, but then they look different once you get them on. Celestial's described as being rich color shifting pigment that changes from purple to green to teal. I feel like I've bought a few of these ones, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how, how this one compares to the others. I might swatch them alongside each other afterwards just so you can see the differences and similarities. I always end up buying ones that look the same. Why do I do that? Oh, it does have a more like a brighter green though, which is nice. Rather than that deep teal shade, it's a much brighter green. That's actually very pretty. That's very pretty. Let me wet my finger. Oh wow, that green is beautiful. It's funny because it looks purple on my hand, but in the camera it is so green. That is so beautiful. That is a stunner. I will lay down all the ones that look similar next to each other at the end, just so you can see the comparison between them. Okay, next is UFO. Now this one is a pigment that changes from rich green to gold, orange, bronze, and copper. I feel like I need to go to swatching school. <laughs> like there's a place that YouTubers go to learn how to swatch properly. I'm not sure if I'd graduate though. Okay, so this is UFO. I'm seeing a lot of blue, a little bit of purple, green, but on camera, it's looking very goldy green, like that grungy goldy green. Let's see what happens when we wet it. Honestly, it's so different. It looks so bluey green to my naked eye and then to the camera, it's looking so golden. But yeah, she is really pretty. So it's such a challenge trying to capture multi-chrome so that it does it justice. And I just don't think you can, to be honest. I don't feel like it's possible. You just need to see them in real life. That's lovely. And we are up to the final one now. This one's called Mirage. A rich color shifting pigment that changes from gold to light green, teal, and dark green. So it is all about the greens and the gold, which I am into. <laughs> hey, that was a pretty good swatch. I'm quite proud of myself. Ooh, I like this one. Mirage, yes. She's Beautiful. Oh, let's wet the finger. Oh, that blue is stunning. <laughs> the blue in this is absolutely beautiful. I'm just trying to capture it for you. See the blue up the top there. Wow, that is so pretty. All right, so we have swatched all of those out now. What I am going to do is... Go back and swatch a couple of the really similar ones for you so you can just compare them. Okay, so on my hand I have got Mythic, Cosmic, 
and celestial. So they definitely have very different tones of green and blue in them. So these two are the most similar. Those two are Mythic and Cosmic. You probably don't need both of those. But they are both very beautiful. And on my hand, I'm seeing this one's more warm purpley gold. And this one's more of the purple to blue shift. But yeah, they look very different in the light. Probably could just choose one of those two. Now that we've swatched everything out, I'm going to chuck something on my face. So let me take a little second and figure out what the heck I'm going to do. And I'll be right back to do it. <laughs> I was so tempted to use the stunning Mirage shade, which is like the really greeny golden one. That is so beautiful. But I think what I want to do is try and show you something slightly more wearable because I think... A lot of people are probably scared of multi-chromes because often they come in really intense dark colors or they're really bright colors, like really bright purple, and really bright blue, that kind of stuff. So I'm going to try and do something slightly more wearable. It's still going to be, I mean, it's going to be a little bit out there because it's a multi-chrome and it's me and it's my channel. So, <laughs> but let's just see how we go. So what I'm going to do is take in companionship with these multi-chromes. I'm going to take my ColourPop California Love palette. It is one of my all-time favorites. It's so good. I use it very often. And I think I want to take the shade Laguna. Ooh, I forgot how much I shouldn't have because I use this all the time. But the pigment is amazing in this palette. I should actually buy another one because if they stop making it, I'll be absolutely devo. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Filling it up a tiny bit more on this side. And this brush makes it so easy to do. <laughs> Lovely. Just gonna zoom you in a little more. Cool. Now I wanna take the shade Highway 1, I think. I have so many favorites in this palette, it's so hard to choose which one I'm gonna use, but I think, yeah, I think I'm gonna take the shade Highway 1, which is a warm brown, and just a Sephora packing brush. Okay, so just patting that on the outer, mostly up high. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> All right, I just am going to go back in to Laguna again. This time, sorry, I'm sitting on my foot again. We've been through this. I don't sit like a normal adult human on a chair. I like to sit cross-legged <laughs> on one or two of my feet. Um, <laughs> so going back in with this shade, the Laguna again, just with this brush this time because I do want to make it a little bit more intense. So... I wanted a brush that was a little bit more densely packed. Honestly, if I recommended one palette to buy, it would be this one because it's so bloody cheap for the quality of it. And the colors are so flattering and beautiful. Now we're getting to the fun stuff. <laughs> uh, what do I want to do? All right. First, I think I'm just going to lay on some product. I'm going to try going in with a brush and we'll see how successful it is. So this is a Refer 21. So I'm just making sure that's wet and I'm dipping into this beautiful shade Inferno. Okay. Oops. <laughs> yeah. Got some fallout there because obviously I'm using a brush and not my finger. Oh, that's so pretty though. Oh, I love that. Aside from the wee little extra sprinkle on my cheek, <laughs> we might get rid of that. Give me two sips. I'll tell you what, the beauty of using a powder foundation is the fact that I can just <laughs> swipe it off and tap it back on. <laughs> okay, so we're on the lid. I'm just gonna do that again on the other side and I'm just gonna do it a bit cleaner this time so I don't get the fallout. Yeah, that's better. It was definitely my fault that I got fallout before because I didn't actually mix the powder properly into the, the water on my brush. So that was a bit of excess. This is so pretty. 
I'm just making sure that it comes up higher than my crease. This is a beautiful color. If you want to get into multi-chromes, but you don't want to be wearing bright blue or bright green. I'm really, really loving that. Inferno, beautiful. Now I am gonna take my NYX glitter primer for this next little phase. Actually, before I do that, I might do the lower lash line. And once again, taking the shade Laguna just on a little riffer. I'm running that underneath the eye. How you going down there, Billy Bowie? <laughs> Best puppy ever. He sleeps in my bed. <laughs> yeah. He started out sleeping in a pen and now he sleeps in my bed because I just, I can't help it. Even though I'm such a light sleeper and I wake up 13,000 times a night because every time he moves, I wake up. It's worth it for the snuggles I get. <laughs> and on the outer corner of the lower lash line, I'm going to take that same Highway 1 shade just with the same brush and putting that on the outer third. Okay, now I'm going in with the NYX Glitter Primer. This thing is really good when you have really glittery things that need a tacky base, because this does stick. So if you need something you can trust with a bit of uh, extra teeth to it, this is a good one for that. So I want to tap that in both corners. And then, yeah. Now I'm going to take this teeny weeny brush from Inglot and I'm going to dip that into the beautiful golden shade Stardust, which is this like sparkly golden color. And I'm hoping I've got enough tack. You know what? I'm actually going to dampen that brush a tiny bit as well, just because I don't trust that I got the glue exactly where it was supposed to be. <laughs> the problem with using your finger is that it's not as specific unless you've got really teeny weeny fingers <laughs> Ooh, so good you know what you need to be closer for this <laughs> we're tight you and me tight all right so you're just popping that stardust shade in the corner oh yes and if you just wanted to keep it really wearable you don't obviously have to go in with a super sparkly golden shade in the corner <laughs> that is taking it to a, a slightly higher level of if you're just a neutral lover I'm thoroughly enjoying this may I say I am loving how that's looking so that Inglot brush did work nicely for that fine detail work and just in the very very corner of my eye the very inner corner I'm gonna take cruising I'm gonna take cruising it's really pretty golden color pale golden color and I want that in here Okay, I'm back. I had to turn my camera off because it was overheating. It's, uh, it's had quite the workout today, apparently. So off camera, I have gone ahead and I have put on my NARS Longwear Eyeliner High Pigment in Bernard Sunset Boulevard. It's a gorgeous yellow gold, which actually matches the pigment, the Stardust pigment from Nakia Joy perfectly. So I've put that in my waterline here. Also on top, I used the MAC Dual Dare All Day Waterproof Liner in Dare Black. And for blush, I popped on my So Natural Glow Play blush, which is one of my absolute faves. You're gonna see that popping up. I'm not sure if that video is going up before this, but it's in my list of favorite products from this year. And on my lips, I have got the Hourglass Tinted Lip Oil in Icon. These feel so nourishing. It's insane. So let's zoom you out and get a bit less like in your face. <laughs> so that's the finished look. I love this pigment. I love this look. I think it's so beautiful. I think it's so beautiful and so wearable, which I think is a gripe that a lot of people have with multi-chrome pigments. They're a little bit afraid to to wear them because they can be a bit confronting and you think, oh, I can't go out in public with that on my eye, it's too much. But this is definitely wearable. It's a beautiful colour. This was the Inferno shade from Nakia Joy. So I definitely recommend that if you're looking for a pigment, a multi-chrome that isn't too in your face, then this one is just beautiful. It's so pretty. 
and it works so so amazingly well with the California Love palette. I also love the gold yellow gold stardust pigment that I've got in the corner here that's really pretty too and it goes really nicely with this look. So I would say congratulations Nakia Joy you have made some beautiful pigments here and I actually love how I know I did get a little bit of fallout here but that was honestly my fault because I didn't mix the water in enough and I have played around a little bit with this sugar kiss this is one of the color frost ones and honestly, I have not got a shred of fallout from it. So I, I absolutely think that these pigments are pretty miraculous and they're a lot less messy than a lot of pigments that I've had in my collection. So yeah, big thumbs up from me. It's been a joy playing with these and please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to see more makeup fun and you want to hang out. <laughs> I did want to say also thank you so much for everyone that has subscribed because we have uh, clicked over 100 subscribers now and that honestly feels like such an achievement and it feels like such a blessing because times have been pretty tough in the last year if I'm being completely honest and this YouTube channel is something that has kept me focused and and motivated and it's allowed me to feel some real joy in my life and I'm so grateful for that and just having this outlet is it's brilliant and talking with you guys when you leave me comments it honestly makes me so happy and I feel like you're my fam so thank you and please like this video I'll be back with you again very very soon bye